Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works thy hand have made. I see the stars, I hear the mighty thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. When through the woods and forest glades I wander and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mounts in grandeur and hear the brooks and feel the gentle breeze then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. And when I think that God, His Son, not sparing, sent Him to die, I scarce can take it in Till on that cross My burden gladly bearing He bled and died To take away my sin Then sings my soul My Savior God to Thee How great Thou art shall come with shouts of acclamation and take me home what joy shall fill my heart then shall I bow with humble adoration and then proclaim my God how great thou art then sing my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art. Hello, I've chosen one of my favourite verses from the Bible, which is Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. 
This is the Lord speaking to Joshua. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Many years ago, when our daughter went on her gap year travelling, we gave her a list of important numbers and contacts. This was long before um, computers and mobile phones. And we put it in a sort of encapsulated card. And on one side of the card, we wrote this verse, as we felt it was very appropriate for her, um, knowing that the Lord would be with her wherever she was in the world. And I feel it's equally important for us today. So many of us are self-isolating, alone. It is a frightening time. And I think it's good to acknowledge our fears to the Lord. But let us remember that he is with us wherever we are. Home alone or with family, but he is with us. God is in control of this situation and nothing is impossible for him. So I'm going to end with a prayer. Lord, thank you that you are with us now, that you care deeply for each one of us. We pray for your protection and your peace, Lord, and we pray a sense of your presence Please fill us with your strength and courage and help us not to be afraid because you are with us. Amen.